Keenan, we spoke after the win on Monday. I asked you how good it was. I feel like today might be even better. Yeah, I'll be honest, when Steffi's going in, I had goosebumps. Uh, that was an unbelievable feeling. Because, look, I don't know, the game felt like it might have been slightly peering out, even though we was, we was on the front foot, we was around the edge of that box, but when you have 10 men behind the ball, it's hard to break down, and, and you need little moments of quality, an individual brilliance, great cross from Eunice, and a good header from Steffi. And, yeah, when that goes in, moments like that, I'll, you won't forget in a hurry. Does it kind of, even though you would have liked to have got the second goal earlier, it then makes it special, it makes it memorable, particularly if Leicester get what they want from this season? Yeah, it's a good way to look at it, positive way to look at it. I think I'd rather get early goals, so it's a bit more comfortable, but in terms of adrenaline rushes, um, there's, not, there's not many better than that. Um, just, I'm just, I'll be honest, I thought there was just the mentality of the squad, look, it's a sloppy goal to concede on the stroke of half-time and it's the mentality to, to just forget about it, continue doing what we're doing and wait for that one opportunity and when it comes, take it and we did that, so I'm buzzing. I was going to ask you about the Birmingham equaliser. Mads has been so good for Leicester this season. Were there any words at half-time or was it just that, let's go and go again? Yeah, no words, look, Mads has been phenomenal this season. He's so important to the way we play. We use him as an outfield player like when we're in possession. So, look, we're human. We're going to make mistakes, especially the way we play. And for how good he's been this season, he's, he's, well, in, he's well in his right to make a couple of mistakes. And it just showed look, the way he played in the second half. It didn't phase him, continued to do what he's done. And that just shows his character. So, yeah, there's no problems from us. It's, it's on to the next one. Forget about it. Was the second half about patience? As you say, that there were chances, there were penalty appeals, it was getting late, but you just kept sticking to the plan. Yeah, so it was, and that's probably what I, I put it down to, having patience. But when there's ten, as I said, when there's 10 men behind the ball, you can't rush it because if you start rushing it, it starts becoming a basketball game and that's not really what you want. Um, you have to be patient, you have to try and find your moment. And I thought the goal would epitomise that. We, we got it into a good area, put a great ball in and, and, and got, the, got the winner. And... Um, Look, that's, I believe that's what top teams do. They, they don't try and score in the first five minutes of the half. They, they use the whole half and no matter what time, they punish and, and, and that's how you win games. Not sure what view you had of the winner. Steffi described the cross as juicy. Not sure how you described the header, but as you say, it was just an unbelievable moment at the cop end of the ground as well. Yeah, I made a, a little run into the box. I was quite tired at the time. So when I seen Steffi powering in the back post, I, was, I thought, this is it. And... Look, he gets a bit of stick for his head in at times, but the last two games he's put one on a plate for me with his head and he scored with his head, so I don't know if he's doing extra sessions after training with his, about heading because, yeah, he's definitely improved, but yeah, top, top, top goal, good performance and on to the next. Two and two for Steffi, two and two for you. You, you were moaning you scored too many headers on Monday. There's one where you thought, it seemed like you just slowed everything down, the play's coming towards you, but you, you pick your spot. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was, look. Credit to Patson, he was under a lot of pressure from a lot of lads and he's, and he's set it off lovely and that's sort of the moment where the game freezes and you have to just compose yourself and then put it in and thankfully it did and yeah, it got us, as I said, it got us off to a good start in the game. We started really well and, and as I said, I'm happy that we, we showed mentality to continue and win the game in the end. Were you aware of other results? Not uh, Ipswich losing earlier, Leeds obviously losing later on, which created another roar at full time? No, I'll be honest, we wasn't, we got specifically told don't want us to watch the Ipswich game. We don't focus on anyone else. The first we heard of it was when it got announced before, when we were in the warm-up. So, look, as I, as I said in pre previous interviews, it's, it's we're only bothered about us. You can't be too bothered about other teams because it'll affect the way you play. And, and I know if we do our job, then we'll be, we'll be there. And look, played 40 games this season and got six more. That's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Put another five, four, five, six good performances in and, and we're there, so back to the drawing board tomorrow, rest and recover and, and onto a big week next week. The cliche is one game at a time. It's Millwall next, there's a big week ahead, but Millwall first up. What are the expectations there? It's a unique place to go. Yeah, it's tough. It's an iconic ground in English football. Um, but again, we know our job. We know what we need to do. We'll have a game plan. They're going to try and make it tough for us, of course, but every game until now and the end of the season is tough because pretty much every team's got something to play for still. So. That, it is a cliche, but it's true. It's one game at a time now. And then what if you do that and you keep getting positive results before you know it, you're nearly there. So not going ahead of ourselves. It's been a great day, but on to another one Tuesday. To go into that Millwall game on the back of back-to-back -back wins here must be give you a massive boost. Yeah, 100%. Look, no, no, Arden was in a slump. Confidence is probably a bit low the last couple of weeks. 
but it's worth it when you have a dressing room that happy at the end of full time uh, here today. Um, fantastic six points uh, in the last two home games. Great support in the last two home games. Honestly, it helps us, gets us through, gets us over the line and yeah, credit to the fans. And now got a couple of away games. I know they'll come in their numbers and I'm hoping we can make it a good, positive day for them.